What's good everyone, it's Smudger here and today I'm going to walk you through my personal favourite mp5 class. We all know it's been an absolute beast, it's probably going to get a bit of a nerf but until then I'm going to give you what I think is the best class setup and the great thing about this particular class setup is it's all using attachments for the most part that are unlocked kind of in that first round as you go through all the attachments and so that means that anyone can use it because leveling up weapons in this seems to be taking forever so without further ado let's see what i run i don't run an optic i know some people aren't a big fan of the iron sights you can if you want you just have to switch out one of these or run the wild card that lets you i can't remember what it's called it's unlocked ages away as it is so first up for the muzzle i actually run the first muzzle you unlock which is the muzzle break nine i find it's the best i don't think that you can really justify any of the others even the later ones the agency suppressor is supposed to not really be on the same level as the monolithic suppressor in modern warfare but until then because it does take so long to unlock the muzzle break nine is by far the best and then the barrel i run again the first one that you unlock the 9.5 extended once again none of these really seem to be doing anything worth it this one gives you increased bullet velocity and effective damage range it's not really worth it it takes so much off your aim walking movement speed and your sprinting movement it's just not really worth it you want the mp5 to be as snappy as possible and i just don't personally think that it's worth it now for the body i actually run the steady aim laser there is the 5 milliwatt laser which increases your hip accuracy even more but it reduces your aim down sight and when you want the mp5 to be as snappy as you're capable of while it hits as hard as it does before it inevitably gets a nerf you might as well run this and then just not really lose too much of the ads speed whilst you can next up under barrel once again run the first one you unlock it's the foregrip gives you better recoil control the gun doesn't have a massive amount of recoil in my opinion as it is you can run this it gives you quicker movement and quicker melee but look at everything it takes off it's not really viable kind of similar with the patrol grip it gives you six percent is it six percent yeah six percent movement speed you're not really going to need that when you'd rather have recoil control here and then increase your movement speed with other attachments later and finally the magazine, I actually run 40 rounds on this just because if I am getting in behind enemy spawns, you know, I don't want to be running out of bullets after the first couple of enemies. I did used to run the 40 round drum, you can if you want, obviously it reduces your reload quickness. This actually reduces your aim down sight speed. It's going to be personal preference, I haven't seen too much of a difference with it, but if you find that, you know, it's really really bothering you then... I would just switch over to the 40 round drum i never really saw much of a difference when it came to reloading it obviously it is only 40 rounds and this quite has quite a high uh, rate of fire so you are going to be changing through it relatively quickly and it just means you have to make sure there's always somewhere you can duck behind cover and that really is all i run i am considering once i unlock the wild card to run the let me find what it's called oh i already have it unlocked <laughs> I am considering once I unlock gun. I am considering running gunfighter and kind of seeing if that makes massive difference to have more attachments on the MP5. But as it is, you don't really need it. All of these are unlocked in the first kind of round of attachments, so there really is no need to run anything else. There's, there's no need to experiment too much as it is. The MP5 is such a strong go gun as default that it doesn't really matter obviously the later attachments you know you might find that you enjoy them a bit more but until then this is a really really solid gun to run i think everyone knows that the lobbies are just full of mp5s in every variation and especially with these being the best attachments out there currently everyone unlocks them in you know five or six games and then everyone can run that gun i have a gameplay for you guys that i'm going to put up after this and you can see i think i go something stupid like drop 10k score or something in a team death match when we lose by four kills because my team just couldn't pick up the slack it was a really good gameplay you really get to see how good the mp5 is i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll catch you guys later
Enemy spy plane inbound. Don't let them get ahead. Check your fire! Hostile spy plane established overhead. Hostile care package inbound. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. Established overhead. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. That's a loss. All operators to Xville. We're overrun. All teams, fall back. 